Hi guys, it's Arianita La Gringa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about cars. I am going to teach you car vocabulary and this is a very important topic here in the United States because everywhere you go, you see cars. In fact, there are more cars than people. You might ask yourself, why are there more cars than people in the United States? And that is because in some cities, a car is a necessity versus being a luxury. Of course, a car can be a luxury, but the US makes it so that cars are a necessity here. For example, imagine I'm at the movie theater, but I need to go home. How am I going to get there? If I don't have a car, I have to walk a lot of miles to my nearest bus stop. But where are the bus stops? The bus stop may be five miles away, so the best option for me is to call an Uber, to order an Uber, or to have a car. The second reason why there are more cars than people in the US is because cars are accessible. It doesn't matter if you have a well-paying job or if you have a minimum wage job. You can go to the dealership and buy your own car because dealerships will offer you credit so you can pay your car month by month. And when you want to buy a car at the dealership, you can get the car the same day. And sometimes you don't even need a down payment for the car. A down payment is the initial payment of the thing that you are buying, like a car or a house. Of course, nothing would be possible without a credit card. In order to buy a car, a house, you need a credit card with a good credit score. Now let's learn some car English vocabulary. I'm first going to start off with the exterior part of the car, the outside of the car, and then move into the interior part of the car, the inside of the car. I'm standing in the front of the car, but now let's play a little game. I am going to give you three seconds and you are going to name the part of the car I'm pointing at. What is this part of the car called? This big window. Here in the US, this is called a windshield and a windshield protects us from the wind. Now what happens if a bird poops on your windshield? What do you clean it with? You clean it with the windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. Now, what is this part called that protects the engine of the car? This is called the hood. This is the hood of the car. I'm going to show you the engine by opening up the hood of the car. But first, I need to open up my car. And how do I open up my car? I open up my car with the key fob. This is a key fob and this is mostly used in more modernized cars. If you have an old car, you would just have a key to open up your door. So I'm going to unlock my car. That's the sound to unlock it and open up the hood of the car. To open up the hood of the car, I am looking for the lever and I just found it. And then I'm going to pop it open. That sound lets you know that the hood is open. I'm going to open up the hood of the car, but I'll be honest with you guys, sometimes it's a bit tricky to find the handle of the hood of the car, but I found it. I'm going to open this up and attach this leg right here. And there we go, the hood of the car is open and you can see the engine and everything underneath. Right here is the engine of the car and next to the engine is the car battery. I've actually had a lot of trouble with the car battery. It used to die on me a lot because I used to leave the lights on in my car overnight and that was a problem. Anyway, right here is the windshield fluid for the windshield wipers. Now I'm going to close the hood of the car. There we go, we're finished. But we're not finished with the front of the car, so we're going to still play the game. This is the grill of the car, but inside the grill, what is the big piece in front of the car? You have three seconds. This is called the front bumper, front bumper. Continuing with the game, this one should be pretty easy for you. What is this called? 
This is called the front light. You have two front lights and you have two back lights, but there are two types of lights in the front lights. So you have your high beam lights, which are called your brights, and you usually turn on your brights when you can't see things far away, when it's really dark outside. And then you also have your low beam lights, which you always have your low beam lights when you're driving during the night. Moving from the front of the car to the side of the car, what is this circular thing right here called? This is called the car tire or the tire. And what is inside right here? This is called the car rim or just the rim. This car is a sedan, so it has four doors. It has two doors on this side and two doors on the other side. But what if a car only has two doors? That car is called a coupe coupe. On the door, you have a door handle that you use to open up the door. And right here, you have the car windows, and these windows are tinted to block out the sun when you're driving. And I forgot to tell you guys that in the windshield, you cannot have a tint in the front windshield, but the other parts of the car, like the windows and the back part of the car, you can have a tint. Even if you want your front part of the car, your windshield to be tinted, you cannot because that is illegal. The only part you can have tinted is just the very top. And what is this part of the car called? This is called a side mirror, and a side mirror is necessary if you are looking to your left or right to see if a car is in your lane, because if you want to turn to the left side, you use this side mirror to see if a car is in your blind spot, and the blind spot is literally when a car is right next to you and you cannot see it. When we are talking about the tire, the whole thing is called a wheel. This is a car tire and then these are the rims. But right here in the rims, you can see the car brake. And the car brakes help you stop the car when you need to stop. And above the wheel, you have the gas tank. Normally, if you had an old car, you would just press this gas tank and it would open up. But I have to open up this car because it is newer and look for the button, the gas tank button, hold it, and then there you go, it clicks, and the gas tank is finally open. This car uses fuel called gasoline, but in other cars, like electric cars, you would have the same knob, but you would have electricity going inside the car to charge it. But what if you have both gas and electric going inside your car? That means your car is a hybrid car, which is both electric and gas. I'm finally in the back part of the car, and now let's continue on with our game. What is this part called? This is called a license plate. In some states, you need a license plate in the back of the car and in the front of the car. But as you saw before in the video, I do not have a license plate in the front of the car. So this state where I live, Ohio, you only need a license plate in the back of the car. These two lights right here, the red lights, are called the back lights or the brake lights. And don't forget to always have your brake lights working because if not, you'll get pulled over and get a ticket because that happened to me. <laughs> As I told you before, the front of the car is called the front bumper, but this part of the car is called the fender, or you can just call it the rear bumper. Now, what do you call this part of the car where you can open it up and store your groceries or a large amount of items? This is called the trunk, and you open the trunk with the key fob, or in some cars, you have to actually go inside the car and open it up inside the car. So I'm going to use the key fob and hold the trunk button. There you go, the trunk is open, and with a sedan, this trunk, you cannot see everything inside the car, unlike a hatchback, because a hatchback, when you open up the car, you can see all the seats inside, but with this trunk, you have a limited amount of space. What happens if you have a flat tire? That means that you need to change your tire, and where would you have another tire? Well, you have a spare tire in your trunk. You just lift up this mat, and you lift this part up, and here you have the spare tire. And I'm putting this mat back down, and here you have the tools to change your tire. And in case your car battery runs out like mine used to do all the time, you have what's called jumper cables to jump the battery and turn on your car. 
I hope you guys are still watching this video because if you do have a flat tire, now you guys know that there is a spare tire in your trunk. Moving on from the exterior part of the car, the outside of the car, now I'm going to teach you guys English vocabulary inside the car. So right now I'm in the driver's seat and right here is the passenger seat. And the first thing that you do when you get inside the car is put on your seat belt. If there was someone else in this car and you wanted them to put on their seat belt, you can just say the phrase buckle up. That means that everyone else should put on their seat belt. Now I'm really hot, so I'm going to close my door since we're in the middle of the summer. Put my key in the ignition. Turn on the car and I'm going to blast the AC because it is so hot. When you turn on the car, you can see lights flickering right in front of you, and that is called the dashboard. The dashboard has gadgets like the speedometer that will help you see the speed of the car. And as you can see, the three letters called MPH, that is called miles per hour because here in the United States, we use miles instead of kilometers. But inside of the miles per hour, you can see the kilometers per hour because you can change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. But I wouldn't recommend that since all of our signs say miles per hour here. And you can also see the fuel gauge so you can see how much fuel is in the car. I'm not empty, so I still have fuel inside my car. And then in the middle of the dashboard, you can also see how many miles you have driven on your car. And you can also change the dashboard with this new modernized car so you can see how many miles are left inside the car so you know when you need to fill up your gas tank. Now let's continue on with our little game. So what is this circular thing called? This is called a steering wheel and it helps you steer your wheels. And what is this called? This is called the horn and the action of doing this is honking your horn. <laughs> and behind the steering wheel, you have a left switch and a right switch. So the left switch is for your turning signal which I have my left turning signal on right now, but I can switch to my right turning signal. And you can see the turning signals from the front lights and the back lights. And from this left switch right here, you can also turn on your lights. You can turn your low beam lights on, which are necessary for driving during the night, and you can also turn on your brights. Now this right switch right here is to turn on your windshield wipers, which I'm going to turn them on right now. But if you want to add water and clean your windshield, you just push this in and water will come out. And there you have it. The windshield wipers are wiping the windshield. Now, if I want to put my windows down, I want to roll down my windows. I'm going to press this button and now I roll down my windows. But if I want to put my windows back up, I'm going to press this button one more time and the windows are rolled up. Now, what do you call this triangular button right here? This button is used to turn on the hazard lights. So these hazard lights will turn on to the front and the back of the car. I'm going to turn off the hazard lights, but you would normally turn on your hazard lights if you get pulled over or if you're on the side of the road and you need help or assistance with your vehicle. This part of the car right here is called the center console. And the center console has a screen where you can change from the menu and also change your music, how loud or how low you want it. And you also have a map. Also on your center console, you also have the AC or the heat. So you can turn on the AC or you can turn on the heat if it gets cold outside. Right here is called the cup holder which you normally store bottles of water or cups, but this is an empty bottle of water. And next to the cup holder is this thing. This is called the armrest and it's used to rest my arm when I'm driving. And I have some storage in here. Also, what do you guys keep inside the armrest? Let me know. But some cars do not have an armrest, so some people have to have their arms on the steering wheel all day and cannot rest their arms. <laughs> and before driving the car and taking you guys for a ride to the car wash, I wanted to show you guys the back of the car. 
This is the second row of the car and it's called the back seat. And because this car is a sedan, it has two rows. And the most important thing, in order to keep your car clean, you need to have a good mat. So this is just a typical leather mat you would use on the floor of your car. And it is easy to clean because you can just wash it. Right now, I'm in the back seat of my car. I'm acting like another passenger, and I like to keep my car nice and clean by having these little air fresheners throughout my car. How do you guys take care of your car? Do you like to keep it nice and clean, or are you messy? Now that I have finally finished teaching you guys English car vocabulary, I'm going to take you guys for a ride. But first, let me put my seatbelt on. Let me buckle up turn on my car and make sure my rear view mirror is in the place I need it so I can see the cars behind me and the sun is still out and shining so bright so I'm going to put this visor down to protect my eyes in order to move my car I use the shifter right now it's in park but if I want to change the gear I can move it to drive this is an automatic car, so I do not have to change gears like a manual car. I just have to move it to drive and then I'm all set and ready to go. Right now the shifter is in park, P for park, but you can also change it to R for reverse. And right here you can see that I have a backup camera in this car. But in my previous car I did not have a backup camera, so I had to use my side mirrors to guide me when I back up. Now I can also change the shift to neutral and then I can also change it to drive, which I'm doing right now. Also, next to drive, there is S. So S is for sport mode, and right here is echo mode, and this helps to save gas, and then I also have normal, and next to it, I have sport. So sport makes me waste a lot more gas because I go faster, but you have the S where I can change to sport mode, and I have the addition sign and the minus sign. So I can change my velocity and how fast I'm going by pressing this button right here. Now that I just finished teaching you guys English vocabulary, let's buckle up together and go to the car wash. This is one of the ways I take care of my car. Now I'm going through the car wash. I'm going to roll up my window so the inside of my car doesn't get wet. And I've already paid for the car wash, so come along with me. So when you go through the car wash, there will be someone working here that will guide me with the wheels from going straight. And they'll tell me to put the car in neutral. And I don't even have to touch the car, touch the steering wheel or the gas pedal. Now I'm going to park over here to clean the inside of my car. I'm finally finished washing my car and it's cleaner, but it was already clean before. And you can also vacuum inside the car and vacuum all the stuff on your mats using this vacuum right here. But you have to pay over there at that machine and insert $2. But my car mats are already clean, so I don't have to vacuum inside my car. And the outside of my car to get it clean cost me $10, but this car wash is automatic, so it can get even pricier up to $20. Let me know down below if you guys go to an automatic car wash or if you just wash your cars at home by yourselves. Okay guys, I'm finally finished with this YouTube video and I hope you guys have learned a lot of new English vocabulary with your car. Let me know down below what type of car you guys have and how much would you pay to get your car washed. I'm finally finished with this video. Go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and give me a super thanks if you guys support my channel. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!